no, 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 no. Are we surprised? Like, honestly, are, are we really surprised? What's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. I appreciate you guys being here, I guess. Uh, before we get into this video and the main part of the video, I just want to say that it could be a little long. I don't know. I'm aiming for somewhere around 15 minutes, but who knows? I got a lot to say. We got a lot to cover. As you can see, all the tabs open on my screen right now, but... Uh, before we got onto the video, like I said, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for all the love on my most recent upload. Um, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and, and check it out. Obviously, you're going to want to watch this one more than the last one, but the last one, the title was Movement, and I clickbaited the thumbnail um, saying Movement is Back. And basically, if you guys go on there and, and go to the comment sections, there's uh, two uh, polar opposite comments. One's, one's gas, and the other one's I, I don't even know. I mean... I'm not going to not going to call them out or anything, you know, it's all love at the end of the day. But um, just to come and, and hate on, on my comment section, I mean, brother, go go hate on go hate on someone else. I mean, like, I don't know what what the point of of the comment was. I mean, I, I clearly stated that the video was made pre update before the update was even launched. And uh, yeah, but um, that kind of sparked. Um, um my my wanting to do this uh the second almost follow-up video if you will but but the call of duty community in the past day and a half slash two days with the latest season three update has been in shambles but yeah guys it has been uh pretty sad and uh honestly just i mean did like i like i said are we surprised like did we expect anything more but uh, like I said, let's jump into this video before uh, I start getting on on too much of a tangent. But basically, as you guys know, and if you haven't already, um, we did get the Season 3 update for Modern Warfare 2, DMZ, Ranked Play, Warzone 2, every single mode, I guess, if you will, that you can play on Call of Duty now. So it is out right now. So if you guys haven't updated your game, you know, you're going to have to update it to play it. But, you know, if you could stay on like the old patch, like the CDL pros or not update your, you know, your iPhone to the latest iOS update, that would be pretty gas because the game would honestly be a lot better. Basically, they promised us a lot of things and uh, we're going to get into a lot of stuff, guys. So before you go down in the comment section and start typing on your on your phone just just give me a little bit we were promised things not specific things we weren't promised like a b hop back and i'm i'm mainly talking about the movement right because everyone was kind of gassing the movement like staying pretty optimistic about it you know maybe we're gonna get some improved mobility and more consistency in the movement the mantling was directly said that it was going to be changed but if you guys take a look on your screen right here um i actually don't know who this is so uh, go ahead and check him out. I don't know if he has, uh, you know, YouTube or he streams or stuff, but Expel on Twitter, I came across this on my For You page and I actually had trouble kind of putting what he put into, into this tweet, into my own words. But basically he says, before the season three update, I was having little to no issues aside from servers being chalked 25% of the time, but it's just so much worse now, which I 100% agreed. If you guys remember right towards the start of like, um, right when warzone got released even modern warfare 2 like um that first like few days of the game the servers were chalked if you were on pc you were getting scan and repair at least like four times every hour sometimes even more um but definitely playing the season 3 update for about four to five hours last night everything he lists here latency is always um incorrect i was literally on zero ms skipping across the map i was getting crazy lag spikes and it's not like i'm on some jank like wi-fi like i have like 800 down 800 up 95 percent of the time so nearly a gig internet like that shouldn't be happening can't zoom in on map i'm not sure about that because it looks like he's a keyboard and mouse player mouse doesn't feel right movement is chalked in laggy lobbies uh yeah the movement literally feels worse um i don't know how it's possible but as you guys saw from that opening clip i was trying to kind of showcase how the movement looks and obviously if if um you know you guys you guys don't really you can't really get the feel for it without you know 
without playing it but you can obviously tell if, if you play modern warfare 2 or warzone or or anything like that so uh, but yeah something just with the game fell off and and as we all know the interface has always felt shit since the release of the game and the interface is still terrible but now there's this weird thing with the battle pass when you go into it you can't like exit out you have to like tab out of it and it's just so weird and i know that's the least of our concern is the battle pass but it's the highest of concerns on infinity wards like that's all they care about is their battle pass and their skins and their money like if we take a look at one of these first tweets here um we're investigating an issue some players are facing that affects to access the battle pass once purchased like of course they're gonna tweet this like why wouldn't they that's how they're getting their money bro like it's just sad that you know they're 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 giving this much attention to this and i know it's like what are you talking about bro it's just like a tweet on their twitter like but you guys don't understand this takes a lot from uh, as big as a company as infinity ward to you know tweet out about specifically purchase about a battle pass not like red dots on the mini map or time to kill or the servers being chalked 25 percent of the time like expel says here so yeah like i said uh that's just the first week i'm gonna start eliminating these as we go like i said we're already seven minutes in so i'm gonna try to keep this one short but um i like i said i just feel like this has to be talked about um because it sucks man it uh it really sucks because this game has so 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 much potential and i know myself being a part of the call of duty community really like in the community the past like four to five years i mean my first call of duty was black ops one black ops one was the first call of duty i played online um and when people talk about their first call of duty they're normally talking about the call of duty they started playing multiplayer in uh but i did play like early call of duties like big red one world at war uh over at my cousin's house i played like private match mw2 did all the spec op missions on that game so you know, I've been in the mix. This is like the only game I've played strictly for the last decade. So um, I'm very passionate about it as well as a lot of the other people in the community. And that's why people have been kind of down bad and just kind of bashing on the update because we all know how much potential this has. And, you know, it's not like they don't have the money for it. So uh, it just really sucks to see. So uh, the next tweet coming in from Iceman Isaac um airstrike and mortar strike notification banner removed uh as you guys can see that's uh i mean nothing more needs to be said about that so basically what, what he's saying is it, there was a patch note saying that this was going to be moved because it was in directly in the center of the screen so um yeah shout out uh let's get a infinity ward in the comment section down below uh next I wanted to cover this just because I think it's absolutely absurd. I mean, I was getting the one comment on on my channel with 200 subscribers. I can't imagine what these guys are getting, and they just kind of breeze over it. But basically, Joe Wo, um, and Hector Repulse, and I, I just want to say, go and check out all these guys' streams, YouTube's, their Twitter. Um, I'm not trying to like steal any content. I just want to cover everything and kind of everything that's been going on in the community and stuff. But basically, Joe Joe o tweets here, mind blown, I'm getting death threats over a Call of Duty update. Was optimistic about an update, 100% Joe, that underperformed and apparently I'm the scapegoat now. Like people just love to hate, bro. Like it's the internet. Like I said, I can't imagine the kind of messages that these guys are getting um, when I'm getting like a weird comment on my last video and I'm literally a nobody, so. Joe, if you somehow see this, bro, like, don't trip about that stuff. People are just weird. And I know you know that. And I, I know everyone knows that. It's just people like to type hate comments behind their behind their iPhone screen. And, and that is what it is. So another one from Repulse, like I said, um, he says, just want to start off by saying y'all sending me death threats over an update is fucking weird. I made sure to have clipped this just in case people tried to use my me as the scapegoat again. Since the dev call, I've said don't get your hopes up and I don't know what exact movement changes are happening, but because your favorite content creator who happens to be my homie tweets a harmless tweet blaming me everyone wants to bandwagon. Only I'm not sure who he's talking about there, I don't know if it's swag? Only thing I was hyping up was World Series of Warzone, and I don't take back that hype. It's going to change a lot of people's lives, and I'm here for it. Some of y'all motherfuckers need to remember content creators are humans. You can say whatever you want about me, but when you start attacking me, my partner in life is where I draw the line. So like I said, I don't, I'm not going to 
get too much into this. Um, all I know is that, like, it, like Hector says, like people are, you know, taking their anger and frustration out on him because he was staying optimistic about an update. Obviously, we all want movement back. Not saying that we need like the side cancel and and everything like that. I, obviously, the B hop from the beta would be nice because they know it's it's in the game. They just took it out, just add it back in. Like, what are we doing? so yeah like i said shout out hector shout out joe if you guys haven't seen their gameplays or their streams or their videos definitely check them out hector has a, a warzone podcast before we go any further i know that this is like mainly about warzone but it, we're gonna get into that part like they added gunfight which i think is cool but other than that we literally got nothing what did we get cranked we got a couple new weapons that you're gonna be forced to buy from the battle pass which people who had those which everyone basically every lobby i was in yesterday on the new black gold map and the lighthouse map they had the the fjx imperium which is the intervention and the new battle rifle i forget the name of it um but basically the only way they had those was buying it so it's like you can still earn them throughout the battle pass but you still have to purchase the battle pass and it's just like if you want the gun right away you buy a bundle and it, this whole meta of the battle pass in the store it just doesn't feel like call of duty anymore it just just sucks like ranked play like got no thing the only thing with ranked play was let me try to find it um here in the patch notes posted this morning headshot damage on the tac 56 which is the main ar in the call of duty league and in rank play it's the scar was incorrectly labeled as increased for clarity headshot damage was decreased and this change has been reflected in the updated patch notes other than that i was going through like some of the rewards and stuff in rank play like we got no new rewards like you all you get the same like basic ranked play skin with the hoodie the goggles which is cool it's cool for season one give us some more stuff give us some incentive to play for like obviously ranked is still gonna do very well but if if they don't make some changes to it and get some new maps in like it's just not gonna go in it it's just gonna slowly die off like every ranked play does every you know i don't want to say league play died in black ops 2 but league play was the reason that 90 percent of the people watching competitive call of duty now probably got into cod for because that's when league play was popping i mean just look and i know treyarch is is doing is doing the ranked play um but they have you know came out with statements before like they only have so much control because it's not their their year and their title to release mono for two is still infinity ward it's still activision like treyarch has no control over like any of like the movement updates and stuff like that all they have is like the ranked play system so it makes sense that you know ranked play is doing so well because who did it treyarch so obviously i'm super biased on that one but also is 95 percent of the community like people will tell you that treyarch is the best dev studio which i mean come on look at the games they produce bro they all they need is one game and i know a lot of people will argue like black ops 3 but bro black ops 2 like you just i'm gonna leave it at that but anyways, like I, we got on that whole tangent, me saying that this was about Warzone, uh, which a lot of it is, but multiplayer didn't get anything, bro. Like it, we got two new maps, like the lighthouse map is dog water. The, the other map, black gold is a night vision map. Like what, what are we doing, bro? Like, you know, high rise Afghan scrap, you know, all these OG 2009 modern warfare two maps are in the game because they're on the big battle Royale map. Think about how much more textures and coding and whatever goes into developing the map. Think about how much is in that. Why can't they condense it down and give us a multiplayer map? Think about how much better and how many more eyes it would bring to the Call of Duty League, the multi-million dollar franchise league that to buy a spot is what, 28 million and there's 12 teams? Like, bro, can't, like, oh my God, I'm getting so frustrated recording this, but let's move on guys. So next i wanted to kind of read the statement from santana if you don't know he's in phase he's in nuke squad along uh j smooth booyah and swag and basically santana has has been sticking up for uh i don't want to say sticking up for the community because i think a lot of the community is on santana's side at least the the ones that have been here for for a while so anyways he says i respect my community enough to keep it 100 instead of giving them false hope on these updates the pr packages have stopped coming my way rightfully so because of how real i keep it with you all about this game 
It's not even about the bread anymore. This isn't right what they have done to us as a community. The first thing I see when I load up the game is a battle pass being thrown in my face, 100%. You try and bring back nostalgia just to save, save face and say, see, we're listening. All the, yeah, he's talking about the FJX Imperium, uh, which is the intervention. Um, all the creators who have gassed up each and every update should be ashamed of themselves, but don't worry, y'all gonna be invited to that next COD event, bro. To that COD next event, bro. Which, I mean, he's right, man, and and it just sucks because uh, I think Santana has been playing for a while. And he, he's 100% right, bro. It's very clear what they care about. Um, you know, it, it's very clear that Warzone is their baby. And, and like I've said in a lot of other videos, we, we've known this since the release of, of Warzone and, and Modern Warfare 19. So uh, moving on, just, just a tweet from, from Bobby Poff here. COD just isn't what it used to be. Couldn't agree more with you, Bob. Um, moving on, this is, this is a great clip that you guys need to see. So like I said, a lot of these clips are coming up on my For You page on Twitter. Um, and like I said, guys, I don't want to take any any credit for any of this. I'm not trying to steal um, content or anything, but go and check out Lucci TV. Go check his stream out, his his Twitter page, his YouTube, whatever he has. So I do want to do want to look at this clip though. Um, the title is "The Warzone 2 Experience." Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. We hey, this is Call of Duty. We fixed the mantling and made it a more smooth experience. Look at me. Look at me do this. Yeah, it's so fucking smooth, man. It's so smooth. Meanwhile, my fucking guy. I fucking jump. Bro, the first time I watched that today, I was literally dying. So, um, I mean, that just goes to show you, right? Like, eh. I feel like the the movement and, and your character it just feels even more clunky than it already does in this game, bro. It's like just so tragic, man. Like, oh my, just losing full, bro. And I know I'm not the only one. Like, it's all it's the whole community. So, looking at another uh, another tweet here, um, a little short clip. I want to play it just because it's the doc. So, uh, the title of this one is Call of Duty Season Three. Oh yeah, that's interesting. I mean, nothing more needs to be said about that. It's the doc. Shout out the doc. Um, does he have his optic chain on? If you guys didn't see, uh, they brought out or they hosted uh, the launch of Doc's new game, which was called Dead Drop. Um, and they hosted like event at ESA, which is Esports Arlington, which is where um, Optic Texas plays. Uh, it's where like their past couple home majors have been. But anyways, they got him like this cool ruby. Uh, iced out chain like a red og um anyways i just went on a that's way off topic but anyways uh next tweet from embos here after the update my character feels clunky as hell so if anything like modern modern mono, i cannot speak if anything mono warfare 2 and ranked like the only thing we got was worse servers worse movement so I don't know, man. Let's let's move on. We're getting towards the end, and uh, as I'm recording this, this is 20 minutes long. So I apologize if this is a bit of a long one, guys. But I just feel like this needed to be addressed on the channel. So next tweet here uh, from Charlie Intel. In the sake of transparency, there were discussions on the creator call last week that led many of us to believe more significant changes would happen than what transpired with the update. We were told there was adjustments to TTK, especially close range, but that boiled down to weapon balancing and not actual TTK health changes. We were told there would be movement improvement and fluidity to sliding, diving, and those ended up being extremely minor. I feel like it got worse. We were always told that there would be sliding when firing, but at the end was told that there was a miscommunication and not happening we want what's best for call of duty and always share our feedback to the developers on everything what they decide to do with the feedback is up to them so i mean he's 100 percent right bro like it at the end of the day like i said at the beginning of the video are we surprised like are we are we really really surprised like yeah it sucks because the update is terrible i mean i don't know so Moving on to the last few tweets, um, another one from Charlie that I thought was pretty funny, and and this is something I wanted to cover towards the end of the video. And with lots of folks mad about season three update not being enough, or saying no one will buy Black Cell, P 
herein lies the issue. Black Cell is the number three best-selling item on Steam Store. Obviously, there's three other platforms to play Warzone and Modern Warfare 2. Um, that being Battle.net, which is the other PC platform, PlayStation, and Microsoft, which is Xbox. So, But nonetheless, I know there's still a huge player base on Steam and... Uh, yeah, he's uh he's right, bro, because I'm one of those people who are still gonna I'm not gonna buy like all this stuff. I think I've bought one skin this year, which is the optic skin. And um obviously that was just to support optic and it was only ten bucks. Otherwise I haven't bought any any um you know bundles or, or these extra additions. Like I'll buy the battle pass just so like I have everything, but that's what, like twenty bucks. I'm not like ah, I don't know, man. It's like people are still gonna buy it people are still gonna play it like people are still gonna spend money as you guys can see here like numbers don't lie and uh that's the thing about call of duty and, and infinity ward and they know this they know that people are still gonna play it. like they don't care all they care about is the money in their pockets so but anyways guys i know this is getting to be quite a long video so i want to check out one more clip before we leave and uh i'm just gonna run it so here you guys go this feels literally the exact same. So there you go, guys. Like, um, I mean, you got the movement king, bro. No. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I think that's going to really do it for the video. Like I said, I didn't really cover anything regarding Modern Warfare 2 and ranked play because, well, we didn't really get anything. I might bring you guys some like um, content revolving like gunfight because I really enjoy gunfight. I played a couple matches and uh, it was pretty fun. Um, the two new maps are absolute dog water. Um, that's a W for competitive. At least uh, we'll get some new maps for that. No changes to weapons or anything besides the headshot damage on the Baz being buffed um headshot damage on the tack being nerfed which i thought the balancing was fine on the guns like people complained about like the scar being insane the baz being insane but while i do kind of side towards like the subs are getting beamed by ars most of the time the vaz is disgusting you just have to be in the right position uh you can really um hit a little flow state with the Vaz, definitely. Um, but the, the Scar is gross at the end of the day. So do I agree or disagree with the update to the headshot damage? I don't know. I I guess. I um, I don't think it's going to affect anything heading into like this weekend with qualifiers and uh, heading into the major. Because I think um, the pros are still on old patches. So if you guys didn't know, like the CDL players, um, their accounts get like locked basically like i said towards the beginning of the video like when you update your iphone when the next ios update comes out they have the option or i actually don't know how it works but i just know that something with their accounts allow them to play on like the old patch just because if that's what they were practice practicing on going into like uh the next weekend of qualifiers or the major um you know they can they can stay on that patch for the split so anyways guys let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know if I clickbaited this title as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it. I might even clickbait it a little more just for uh, just for the sake of last video. But let me know <laughs> what your thoughts on, on this video was. Let me know what your thoughts on Season 3 is. Um, let me know what you guys are going to be playing. Is it Warzone? Is it Modern Warfare 2? Uh, is it Ranked? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be playing. Obviously, I want to... Uh, Play more Sheikah because I think Ashika is really fun. I want to try to hit maybe Diamond this season in ranked. Um, the only issue is I, I solo queue a lot, so um, I think I topped out at plat three last season, so not too terrible, but definitely not good either. So let me know what you guys want to see from me in season three. Like I said, we'll probably uh, get some gameplay with the FJX Imperium, the new sniper, and then I do remember that the weapon, the battle rifle, is called the Cronin Squall. I saw Biffle running around with it in Warzone last night, so it looks pretty good. It reminds me of the Ram 7 from last year, so. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go because if you guys made it to the end of this video, as I'm recording this, it's 27 minutes. I might be able to cut it down to like 25, but I appreciate you guys sitting through this if you sat through the whole thing. Uh, if you did, drop a like on the video. Like I said, let me know down in the comments um, what you're most excited for, what your thoughts on this video and the update was, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.